Johnny's Bar and Grill, Mexican and American cuisine with daily and weekly specials, juicy burgers, mouth-watering tacos, and more, 1519 West Highway 150 in Lincolnton. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back into the WHKY News. Rob Eastwood in for Ralph Mangum with the Friday Crime Report. Topping today's roundup of crime news, 20-year-old Tucker Landon Southern of Belmont was arrested Wednesday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony solicitation of a child by computer. Alexander County Sheriff Chad Pennell said a complaint was filed earlier in the month. The investigation led to the charges which involve social media exchanges between the suspect and an Alexander County juvenile, according to police reports. Southern was placed in the Alexander County Detention Center under $500,000 secured bond. A court date is scheduled for Monday. 37-year-old Fonica Shanara Price of Northwest Wilson Street in Lenore was arrested Thursday by authorities in Caldwell County on charges from Catawba County. She's charged with two felony counts of negligent child abuse with serious physical injury. Price was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond. A superior court date was scheduled Thursday. 43-year-old James Andrew Brown of Sherwood Heights Road in Morganton was arrested Thursday by Granite Falls Police. He's charged with three felony counts of failure to register as a sex offender and misdemeanor second-degree trespass. Brown is a sex offender as a result of a conviction in Burke County in August of 1998 for indecent liberties with a minor. The offense was committed in 1997. Following Thursday's arrest, Brown was incarcerated in the Caldwell County Detention Center under $75,000 secured bond. No court date was listed. 31-year-old John Thomas Harris, who is listed as a homeless person from Newton, was arrested by Newton police. He's charged with two counts of attempt to break and enter a motor vehicle, along with single counts of felony larceny and first-degree trespass. Harris was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility Friday morning under $5,000 bond as he awaited a district court date the same day. 28-year-old Adarian Dakota Parsons Durr of 32nd Avenue Northeast in Hickory was arrested Thursday by Hickory police officers. He's charged with felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance, possession of controlled substance on prison or jail premises, and failure to appear on account of possession of drug paraphernalia. Parsons Durr was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $3,000 bond. District court dates were scheduled Friday and October 28th. A Hickory woman who was the property manager of an apartment complex in the city has been sentenced to at least eight months in prison for embezzling more than $200,000. Her sentence has been appealed. 42-year-old Brandy Martina Hoyle is appealing the decision according to published reports. Hoyle was initially charged with felony embezzlement greater than $100,000 in December of 2022. She was the property manager at the Gates at Highland on the 1700 block of 8th Street Drive Northeast. On September 11th of this year, Hoyle pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of felony embezzlement. She managed the Gates at Highland from February of 2019 until October of 2022. Hoyle was charged with stealing rent money in the total amount of $211,200. She reportedly took payments from three renters at the gates. The renters told the Hickory Police Department they always paid their rent in cash and directly to Hoyle. Hoyle was given a prison sentence of eight to 19 months on October 9th. According to the published reports, Hoyle gave notice of appeal on that same day. A decision from the Court of Appeals had not been announced. 40-year-old Jack Edward Fry of Queens Creek Road in Connolly Springs was arrested October 12th by Burke County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony counts of possession of a weapon by a felon and possession with intent to manufacture Schedule II controlled substance. Fry is a felon as a result of multiple convictions in Burke and Catawba counties. 
dating back to 2008. His most recent conviction was in Catawba County earlier this month for felony possession with intent to sell Schedule II controlled substance. He received a suspended sentence and 18 months probation. Fry was arrested shortly after midnight October 12th at an address on US 70 in Connolly Springs. He was placed in the Burke County Jail under $75,000 secured bond. His next district court date is November 4th. That's your Friday Crime Report. In for Ralph Mangum, I'm Rob Eastwood. Stay with us. Jason Savage is up next with local sports here on WHKY News.